A while ago, I had purchased five ThinkPads for $1.25. That's $0.25 cents for each ThinkPad. Three of the ThinkPads worked perfectly, and I was able to resell them at a profit. One of them had a dead motherboard, and I was able to use the parts from that one to fix another one. And then the last one uh, may have been working perfectly at first, but then I may have uh, caused some uh, electrostatic discharge when I was working on it. And now it has this sort of uh, blue screen issue where uh, everything on the screen looks blue. So here it is, a 25 cent i7 laptop. As you can see, it originally came with Windows 7, so it's not super new. The touchpad is a little messed up here. But aside from that, it's not in terrible condition. I went ahead and I upgraded it to 16 gigabytes of RAM, just so we can get the best gaming experience out of this we possibly can. If we look here, we could also see that we got the processor heatsink, and I think there is also a GPU of some sort in this laptop. I think there's a GPU connection right here. If we look here at the specs on the BIOS, we can see it has the i7-2620M. Uh, if you look up the specs for this processor, we can see that it is a dual-core i7, uh, not the quad-core. They did make quad-core versions um, of the i7 in 2011 when this computer was new, um, but this is not one of them. So this is one of the lower end i7s. It'll be interesting to see how this will game. For the operating system, you can see that I've booted uh, Windows 11. Microsoft does not support Windows 11 on this computer, but that's okay, because I do. Okay, looking at Device Manager, I can see that it has an NVIDIA GPU. It's got the NVIDIA NVS 4200M. If we look in Task Manager, we can see we got one full gigabyte of dedicated GPU memory. Well, when I open up Steam, it's, uh, it's a little glitchy when I open it up. I think this might just be a software issue and not a graphics issue. I'll just give it a chance to load here. Okay, first game I will try is Cyberpunk 2077. Let's see what that does. All right, let's... Let's send it. All right, we seem to be okay. We got this. We got the flash screen. We're getting something. Okay, seems like uh, that didn't work out so well. I decided to try out a few other games. The first game I tried out was Counter Strike Two. That ran but uh, it wasn't very smooth. And I also tried Fallout 4. That also wasn't very smooth. So in general, this can technically game, but it just isn't very great. And that's not too surprising, because this laptop is 14 years old. But I think I might have something that might help it out a little bit. So I take out my RTX 5090, then I get this random Dell power brick, and I plug that into the wall. I go to the side of the computer, and I remove this honeycomb looking thing. And I put this random HDMI thingy in here. I got this fancy doodad, and I plug the HDMI in. I put this guy on here. Then I take this plug thingy, and put it under like this. And I plug the other end at the top. And I give this baby some Dell power. Over here I've got my 1050p gaming monitor. And I'm now plugging that in. And I get granddaddy's HDMI and plug that into the 5090. Finally, going back to the monitor and plugging that in, I turn on the computer, and the fans start to spin. I disable the onboard dedicated graphics, 
and it works perfectly the first time without any issues at all whatsoever. So I have my 75Hz Sync Master Monitor hooked up to the graphics card. Now let's give it another shot at gaming. I decided to try Fallout 4 again, but this time I set the graphics quality to Ultra. Fallout 4 ran pretty smoothly most of the time with occasional drop in FPS. I would say the game is pretty playable. I also tried Counter-Strike 2 again, and in low settings that was pretty smooth as well. And I think I probably could have gone with higher settings. So it runs Counter-Strike and Fallout 4 pretty well, but what about Cyberpunk? Alright, let's send it. Alright, it's trying to do something here. We got the thinking bubble. Oh, we got the flash screen. All right. This is further than it was before. Let me see if I can load in. Okay, I'm in the game. There's some uh, uh, copyrighted music in here, so I'm gonna need to turn that off. All right, I am in the game now. Um, it was a little stuttery just a little bit earlier, but I am in the game. It doesn't feel super smooth right now. But it is running. After Cyberpunk, I decided to try Forza Horizon 5. But before I enter the game, I decided to try Benchmarking Mode, where an automated race is run and game performance is measured during the race. When that was done, it showed that the FPS was all over the place, and the game averaged around 30 FPS, so it was not very smooth. However, when I entered the game itself, it seems to run a lot better often reaching above 60 FPS, while sometimes dropping and stuttering. I believe it has better performance because there are less cars being loaded in. Thus, the processor does not have to compute as much vehicle physics. The last two games I tried were Beam Drive, which did not run very smoothly when there were several other vehicles, but did run much better when there was only one vehicle on the map. And I also tried Mafia Definitive Edition, which was pretty consistently stuttering and having a lot of FPS drops, but was otherwise decent enough to be playable. So yeah, uh, you can play games on the cheapest i7 laptop, but is it worth it? I would say no. If you got something like um, an 8th generation i3 desktop, you would have much better performance than this i7. And it kind of ruins the point of a laptop if you have to use an external GPU in order for it to game. Just getting a used desktop would probably be a lot more cost effective. And if I put this GPU inside of one of those desktops, it won't be as horribly bottlenecked so I would be able to set the graphics to higher settings and get a much smoother frame rate. Even so, it's still pretty amazing that this old laptop can still hold its own and is still able to play some modern games. If you like this video, consider taking a look at some of my other content. Bye bye now.